So you want to write a song? Well, I've got good news. It's not that hard. Okay, yes, it's hard to write a great song. Really hard. But to write an okay song, it's surprisingly easy. And how do I know? Because there's plenty of grown people who stink at it, frankly, but they make CDs anyway. Wait a minute. I think one of these is me. Anyway. To start with, let's talk about the words. In music, those words are called lyrics. Lyrics are usually written in the form of quatrains. But that makes it sound hard, and as we already covered, it's really not. So what's a quatrain anyway? A quatrain, as its name suggests, is four lines of text, where each line is of equal length, usually four to eight beats, depending how fast you count. You can use each line to express your ideas. You don't have to fill up all the beats, you just can't go over. Now that we know what a quatrain is, let me show you how easy it is to write one. For my students, I always suggest that they write about something they care about, so they'll have lots to say. But that would make a pretty boring video, so instead, let's write about something random. Bananas! Told you it was random. Now that we've decided what to write about, we need to figure out what the main thing is we want to say. This is basically the same thing as a thesis statement for you academics out there. For this song, the main idea I want to get across is, bananas are good. And everything else I say will support that statement. Now remember, this song isn't going to be good, it's just going to be a song. We have the rest of our lives to get good. So, let's get started. Bananas are the best. Okay, we have a problem already. You see, I want to rhyme the ending word of this line with the ending word of the next, and the word best doesn't leave me with a lot of possibilities. Sure, I could force some silly line about bananas on my chest, or how they're better than the rest. Forget that, though. Let's do at least one smart thing today and change that ending word to something way easier to rhyme with. Bananas oh so good. Now that we have a line ending on good, that actually gives me an idea for the second line. Taste like I knew they would. Okay, what should we say next? Well, this might be a good time to introduce another idea or maybe talk about how I need all of the bananas. I need them all. For that fourth line, I need to rhyme with all, but I don't want to get boxed into writing something weird about, like, a ball, or the fall, or visiting a horse stall. So instead, let's shoot for a close rhyme. I need them all. Banana. You're the one I want. This seems like as good a time as any to talk a little more about rhyming. And this is an area that a lot of people get hung up on. So let's answer the question. Do your lyrics need to rhyme? Yes, they do but not necessarily, but really they should. Rhyming is good, people like rhymes, and it's a fun thing about songs. But which words do you rhyme? Well, that's where knowing some common rhyme schemes really comes in handy. For this song, I've chosen an A-A-B-B -B rhyme scheme, where I rhyme the ending words of each pair of lines. Another popular one you might want to start with is A-B-C-B. Okay, maybe that sounds complicated, but all that means is we're going to rhyme the second and fourth lines. Again, we only care about the last word in each line. Those are the parts we want to rhyme. Now, if all this stuff about rhyme schemes is confusing to you and off-putting, just remember, it's way more important to actually say something worth saying than to force some silly rhyme, so don't let it control you. All right, now that we have one quatrain that tells the main idea, this can be our chorus. What we need now is something to support our statement that bananas are, in fact, the best. Woke up today, and you were on my mind. Your yellow skin, I want to peel it back and bite. Okay, with that done, I think we need one more quatrain to lead us into the chorus. We could call this a pre-chorus, and I usually like to change things up a little here. Ba, ba, banana. I need the vitamins you have. Gotta, gotta get a banana. Oh yeah. And with that, it really isn't much to write a second verse, repeat the chorus, and maybe add a bridge. And then like that, bish bash bosh, Bob's your uncle, and now you've got a song to show him. 
Okay, I hear you. This isn't really a song per se. Right now it's just spoken words over a metronome. And you're right. What we need is music. There are a number of ways we could approach this, but probably the easiest thing to do is start with a chord progression. <laughs> Now, theoretically, there's something like 4,017 possible chord progressions, but really, there's only a handful that we actually use a lot because, well, they work. Like this one. For the verse, I like this pattern. To build tension, I switch to a 4-5-6 pattern for the pre-chorus. Finally, for the chorus, I went with the old but reliable pop music standby. Yes, the famous 1-5-6-4. Okay, I hear you saying, easy for you, but this is my first song, how do I know which one to choose? And you may not like my answer, but the truth is, it just takes practice. The more that you play and listen to music, the more that you'll learn what you like and what just kind of works for different parts of your song. Okay, and here's the best part of this. Once we have a chord progression, the melody almost writes itself. You see, if you start playing the chords and thinking your lyrics, Pretty soon, you'll be singing them, and you'll have a melody. Woke up today, you were on my mind. Your yellow skin, I want to peel it back and bite. Now, is there more to writing great melodies than singing over top some chord progressions? Of course, but it's not a bad way to get started. Well, now that we have lyrics, chords, and a melody for those first three sections, the rest of the song could easily write itself. But for our purposes, I think I'm going to stop here today. And it's time to hear what this song sounds like. Woke up today And you were on my mind Your yellow skin I want to peel it back and bite ba ba banana Vitamins you have Gotta, gotta get a banana Oh yeah Bananas oh so good Taste like I knew they would I need them all Banana You're the one I want Well, I did promise you a bad song today, so hopefully I was able to deliver. Look, songwriting is a huge topic, and there's so much that we could talk about. But what I really wanted to show you today is just how easy it is to get in there and get started. So what are you waiting for? Go ahead, write your first song. And if it's terrible, write another song, and then another song. That's what we all do. Come on, get out of here, turn off the video. But before you do, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next one.